My name is Jonathan Parks, and welcome to Jonathan's Nature Craft. I must inform you that I do not live in this house by myself, but live here with other people. Sometimes other members of the household may have to walk through areas where I might be recording with other family members on the phone. If you hear any noise like that, please feel free to disregard. We are doing our best to get noise-canceling equipment, which may at least keep you from hearing exactly what is being said. Thank you for considering. Well, I tell y'all in between videos, I just decided that needed to kind of eat a little bit and I'd say as for this diet I mean I was out at Kroger last night and saw all these little plastic covered salad bowls of fruit in there and pick up a uh, one of watermelon one of some pineapple one that had some mandarin oranges in it one that had some strawberries blackberries and raspberries in it so I'd say that That was kind of like my lunch after I kind of had some hot sausage I got there last night along with some eggs for breakfast. Thought I'd be out doing a little weightlifting today after I got out of the pharmacy and the story was last night that I first of all went to Kroger to go to the pharmacy to get my medicine but it would be quite a wait. I mean there were a couple of customers in front of me and the one who was already at the desk was kind of taking a while, kind of needed to go swim at the Y before it closed, so just kind of needed to go take care of that, but that was when I saw the little fruit bowls there and decided while I was on my way home from going out to eat after swimming, decided I'd go and maybe to a different Kroger on a different route on the way home and get the fruit bowls which were there as well and so that was how I settled my day and today when I finally went back to the pharmacy to pick up my medicine and with workout anytime being over there thought I'd be going over there to do a little weight lifting but turned out that I forgot to bring my padlock with me so maybe that was a sign that might have needed to come home and finish up some carving work, finish up some video series, something like that. So that was kind of how things turned out for the better today and how they worked out for the best. And I spent a little time working on the shepherd in between my videos, but I'd say this is a point where there's a certain step that we now get around to doing. So I'm going to see exactly where we are in the book. And I say, I say, just um, kind of work along this little area below the line of the robe to make the cloak. So I say, good work. I say, good work. I tell y'all, and probably even should have taken a little time to sharpen up this knife in between these videos, but I'd say it's going to work as good as it can anyway, so I mean, kind of just take a little work along, maybe remove the excess wood from there you know oh the joy of work in time and so I say just a little bit of extra time and effort and work in a piece you know you know it's just kind of like how this little 
piece of work show make a way along to us you know I say that there's been a lot of things like high blood sugar that have been common in my family and there's been people I've known who've had it in the family and I mean I tell you you know my mom's mother was one of them and my mom's brother was somebody who did and I'd say my grandmother's brother I tell you he wasn't really diagnosed with diabetes until he was in the nursing home but that was kind of a thing where we didn't know much about it because everybody just kind of had their own reasons why we didn't really know about their health conditions or why they didn't know about them themselves until they were kind of in certain places in life and you know it's kind of like how one of my mama's brothers I mean ever since I was in elementary school he had high blood sugar to the point it was almost diabetes so he couldn't have any sugar himself and you know we used to have a lot of questions about that when we were kids and we were often told what it was I mean he became a diabetic eventually and even my grandmother to that matter I've heard stories about how it was when she first had borderline diabetes about how that whenever she was like still working her booth at the Turfland Mall, the Wildcat Country, and the Hamilton Limited. It was kind of where she just um, could walk around the mall to get her exercise. And that was kind of what kept her blood sugar level. But there came a time when, you know, the stores she had at the mall, they ran out of business, so she wasn't able to keep them and she had to retire from it had to babysit to make her living after that and be on her social security and so it was just a time when from what I heard she just and she also kind of had a cornea disease which limited her vision after a while and got her to the point where um, it was like she couldn't get out anywhere to exercise and she was in her home all the time that was how it got worse and became diabetes and so that was how I heard about that and one thing my mother told me fairly recently was that my great great grandmother which who I never knew my mom barely knew her it was my maternal grandmother's mother's mother who had diabetes that I heard about fairly recently I mean they it was like they probably didn't know her well I heard they called her mamma and I mean my grandmother herself told me about a parrot she had that would make little wolf whistles heard a lot of good things about her even though I never really knew her I mean she having the fact that she had died long before I was born and even my mom was probably very young or very little when she died because she only remembered meeting the lady maybe one time in her life and that she tells me that's about it I was blessed to have at least three of my great-grandmothers alive during my lifetime and I'd say you know like I you know one of them died before I was born out of the four but the first great-grandmother I lost, I lost when I was 14. The second one I lost, I lost when I was 17. And would probably say that after that, the final time in my life when I lost the last one I had, which was my maternal grandfather's mother. And my maternal grandfather, of course, was already dead at that time, but he was survived by his mother and I was 20 when she passed away though I was 11 when my grandfather passed so we kind of got through life best we could even with all our losses and how it worked so 
probably forgot to say a thing or two about how I was coming along on this, but I tell y'all that this is how far we've come along here. Do think it might even be a moment where we could probably take things a little further. We've already done a thing or two that kind of gets done on some of these figures and would probably say that there's maybe a step we're going to take here, but I think that since we kind of did the best we could do with Joseph's headdress, I think there's one little simple part we might just be able to do on video here and that is removing the corners from around the top getting rid of maybe the excess of what we may not need around the top kind of flatten down those little corners of that cap I say see how Joseph does I tell y'all and you know, and as we know, he was a carpenter. And it's it's often been said in scriptures that Jesus was a carpenter himself, which, you know, he probably was. I've never really looked deep enough to see whether he truly was. But, you know, a lot of people, they didn't believe he was the son of God. They thought that Joseph was his father. They thought that... Well, of course, we know that James and John and Judas were his brothers, but people didn't realize they were only his half-brothers. And they wondered how could he say he was from God. Fact is, Joseph was not actually Jesus' father. God was Jesus' father. In fact, see, the thing of it is, is that Mary and Joseph weren't even married yet when God impregnated Mary with the Son of God. And Joseph thought she cheated on him. She thought he thought she betrayed him. But an angel came to him and told him, Don't leave. He said, This really is the Son of God. So he believed it in his dream and raised Jesus as if he were his own. I know one thing for sure is that, you know. Just like they say on earth, I mean, nobody's ever perfect except Jesus. And since nobody is perfect, nobody's ever been raised by perfect parents. Even Mary and Joseph were imperfect people. And even when it came to raising Jesus, they were imperfect parents. So we know that's one of the things we kind of find as we look to the scriptures, you know, and, and I, but you know, even though Mary and Joseph were imperfect human beings, Jesus was perfect, and he is God. Here on earth, he was God in the flesh. Now he's resurrected and up in heaven and left us with a spirit that is everywhere. Say we can come around now to making off the top of Mary's head, the top of her hood, just to kind of make little good edges here in the work. I say that this is just kind of the way we take things about as we work to do them. And as for now, just come along the head remove what we don't need and kind of make it so she's kind of round at the top. That's something that often gets done with the shepherd to the, out to this same set out of this same book as well. So that's really just how I say these patterns work. We might have gotten things a little uneven at the top of the head. So decide we're going to come along and try to straighten that out just a bit and Finally, I'd say get it in shape, get it taken care of, and so that's how it is. But 
when we come around to it, I say that there's probably some things you kind of see in the picture that aren't so much shown in the actual diagram, like the fact that there may even be a place where you kind of do this to the hands to kind of make it so they're kind of like this and do the same with Joseph's as well and according to how it's supposed to look when we all get finished there's one little thing I must show and I will show that eventually but getting close to time to end here so thank you very much thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel I hope to see you in the next video. Stay tuned.